Valentine's Day, about two weeks away, of course, February 14th, being single on Valentine's Day may not necessarily be a bad thing, but you can't blame someone for wanting a date on that big special day. Dating expert Joanne Cohn here to tell us how to find a date mm -hmm. in time for Valentine's Day. The clock is ticking. Can it happen? Yes, it definitely can happen. The very first thing that people need to do is go online. Either oh. get on a dating app or okay. go online and tell people, I'm looking for a fun date for Valentine's Let's Day. Let's talk about quality, though. Are you going to find that quality date that will meet your expectations? Or do you not have to have any expectations for this one fun date? I think the more, if you don't have expectations, okay. the more fun you will have. Okay. Certainly you want someone who's safe, you know, someone yeah. who's with age appropriate. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a numbers game at this point. So you want to get as many people contacting you or you're contacting as many people to get the best date possible. Okay, so any specific apps that you really like? For pure volume, I would suggest Tinder and Bumble. If you're going for quality, I would suggest The League. That's a great dating app. Okay, so if you're not into the online stuff, you want that human contact, you want to see the person before mm -hmm. heading out on a date, where do you meet people? There are a lot of great options. If you go onto Facebook, there's a lot of events. You oh. can actually find an event on Facebook and see who's going to see if there's somebody you want to meet okay. or have your own Facebook event. You can also do meetup. You can okay. find out if there's events going on or have your own meetup and then have it exactly the way you want and where you want it to meet the quality people you want to meet. Oh, fantastic. Okay. What about um, bars? I mean, a lot of people that you talk to met their significant other, their spouses in a bar, the old school way. There are a lot of bars in town that you can meet singles. Either you go any place in Old Town, there's a great place, Brow House, where they have games. You're allowed to bring dogs. Who doesn't approach somebody sure. with a dog? Or go to the dog park. Go to the dog park. Yes. You can go to Maestro's um, at City Hall in the bar area. Just about any main restaurant with the bar areas where you want to sit. And on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you're probably easily going to score a couple dates. Okay, so what is the expectation then if you're just meeting this person now mm -hmm. and then you want to go out on a Valentine's Day date? Uh, you know, fireworks, sparks, or... I would say don't blow the relationship because you want one day to be special. You want your life to be special with that person. Mm -hmm. So do something. If you're really determined to do something that day, make it fun. What does the other person want to do? Okay. Maybe it's a hike. Maybe it's a picnic. Maybe it's going to Dave and Buster's. Maybe it's preparing a meal together. But don't get so hung up on the wine, the dinner, the expensive meal out. It doesn't matter in the long term. If you don't find someone by Valentine's Day, do you give up or keep trying? You keep trying. <laughs> you keep trying. Never give up. There's plenty of singles here in Phoenix that to meet. Okay, how do people find you? Um, you can go to my website mm -hmm. at Joanne Cohen, J O A N N C O H E N dot com. It tells you about my matchmaking and my dating services. You've got a tough job, lady. Tough job. <laughs> Thank you. Great Thank advice. You.